For this chapter, open the example project, Real or Virtual MIDI. You may have noticed that there are two types of MIDI tracks in Cubase. One is MIDI, and the other is instrument. If you're using a traditional keyboard or synthesizer with built-in sounds, and want to use those sounds, you would use a MIDI track. If you want to use a virtual instrument, like a software synthesizer, well then you would use an instrument track. There are a couple of differences between these two tracks. MIDI tracks only contain MIDI data and therefore have no sound. So the first thing you'll notice is that the MIDI track doesn't have audio inserts, equalizers, or sends. These are audio related and are only found on tracks where audio travels through them. There are a few other differences to point out. An instrument track sends its output to a virtual synthesizer or a soft synth. You can only pick virtual synths here. On a MIDI track, you can choose its MIDI output. However, there's a bit of an exception here. MIDI tracks came first before instrument tracks and virtual synths. So all you had were MIDI inputs and outputs. Then programs like Cubase added virtual synths. You had to take a few steps to make them work. First, you would call up the VST Instruments panel from the Devices menu. This is also referred to as the VSTi rack. Second, you would choose your virtual synth. Let's choose Cancel since I want to show you all the steps here. Now let's pick a sound. Third, you would then create a MIDI track, which I already have, and assign its output to the virtual synth. And that's a lot of steps, and there's a disconnect between the track and the virtual synth. Plus the track really has no control of the EQ and effects for the virtual instrument. You would need to set these in the mixer. Although this method is still a valid way of creating MIDI tracks with virtual synths, there is an even easier, more connected way to accomplish this. This is where instrument tracks come in. Instrument tracks have the virtual synth attached to the MIDI track in one great combo package. This makes it easier to manage your tracks, and now you don't have to remember, where does this track go? When you add an instrument track, you get to pick the synth right from the get-go. You'll notice that when you have an instrument track, you don't get things like bank and patch selector. Nor do you have MIDI channels. This means that instrument tracks can only have a single stereo output. If you have a virtual synth with two or more MIDI channels, or multi-timbral, meaning it can play two or more different sounds at a time, using an instrument track won't allow you to play the other MIDI channels. On the flip side, there are good reasons to use instrument tracks. Instrument tracks allow for much easier handling of VST instruments because one track corresponds to one channel in the mixer, which corresponds to one VST instrument. The VST instrument is set up automatically with the instrument track, and all automation parameters are available directly in that instrument track. This way, you can move VST instrument automation curves together with the MIDI data. The great thing about both of these different types of tracks is that you can move the MIDI data back and forth between them. So if you start off with an instrument track and for some reason need to switch to a MIDI track, you can. In terms of recording, they are both the same. In the next chapter, we'll record with an instrument track, which is basically the same procedure as recording on a MIDI track.